What's up everybody? It's your boy Rishraf back like I never left and today we got the owner only vehicle system. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Like, you see what I mean? I just keep getting kicked out. Alright, so what you guys just saw was a clip of what it's going to look like at the end. So let's go ahead and insert our chassis right off the bat. We're going to type in chassis. So I highly recommend using a chassis. But you guys can use whatever you guys want, you know. Uh, every vehicle has the basic fundamentals. This is the Novena chassis. I don't take any credit for it. You guys already know. And then what you're going to do is go into the drive seat and insert a script. And then on top of that, inside the drive seat as well, you're going to insert something called string value. Um, this value um, I would call uh, owner. And then the script, we'll just call it the... Uh, owner checker all right so we'll start by saying seat equals script dot parent then we'll go ahead and say owner equals script dot parent dot owner of value so what we just did was we referenced the seat and what we'll do is we'll say seat is the script dot parent and that is the drive seat <coughs> and then we'll say owner is the owner dot value so right here this value we can type a string right here um, I'm just gonna type like official and then we'll leave that um, so the player's username has to match the um, string value so then we'll say seat dot changed uh, colon connect and I hope you guys are following along if you're following along and you're signed in go ahead and leave a comment be like hey Rishraf I'm following along right now Love the video, something like that. You love to see it. I'll say seat dot occupant. Then if seat, oops dot occupant. See, you guys are probably like, bro. We already know you can make this because you know all you have to do is just see if the player's name matches the name. You know that's what I thought at first, but in fact you cannot because you have to network it, and that's why I made this tutorial because I was like, why would I make a a thing only for owners for the vehicle if players can just do that so easily like if the player's name equals you know the owner tag well you actually have to network it and that is really complicated via, uh, via server and via server and client so that's why i was like i might as well just make a video on it also guys, if you guys are looking for some great gaming PC stuff, go ahead and check out Limitless Gamer. Um, I have some discount codes for you, so if you guys are interested in like 10, 20% off, 15% off, they have a referral program. Uh, so you can basically like get stuff literally for almost like free uh, if you refer people. <clears throat> so then we'll go ahead and say if player then, and then we'll skip a line and then we'll say seat Say set network owner. Now you have to be careful. This is set network owner, and then in the argument, I will say the player. Now we'll say seat dot occupant. So we'll make them jump. And also, guys, I found out a new website that uh, I've been talking to them. It's called Loaded Fitness, and basically I've been getting all my stuff from there. Uh, it's like fitness stuff, like dumbbells, barbells, even for women, yoga mats, and all that stuff. Like for you know like quarantine and stuff like that so you guys can totally go check that out link will be in the description uh i'm gonna go ahead and test it now see here's what we have we have the seat now i just went and wrote this code and you guys like uh Rishrath, can you explain this and no problem i will so what we'll do is we'll say on the seat change so when we get somebody sitting there if we have somebody sitting there what we'll say is we'll say if the seat if their name, if the player sitting does not match the owner, like the owner we have of the vehicle, we're going to say, okay, humanoid equals them. Now, if we, they do exist, if we do have a humanoid, we'll say the player equals that humanoid and we'll get their player, the actual player, not the character. And we'll say, if they do have a player, then we'll set the network ownership. That means everybody in the game knows that this guy is currently sitting in this vehicle and everybody will know that this guy is about to jump out of the vehicle because he does not own it. So we'll go here, we'll go to test, and now notice how I have my values official. My name is official Rishraf, so I'm supposed to get kicked out. So let's go and try it. So I'm gonna load into the base plate here. 
almost loaded on the seat. And then what we'll do is we'll hop in and uh-oh, it made me jump. So I'll try again. Well, sometimes it doesn't even work because it recognizes like I just got jumped out again. Like, you see what I mean? I just keep getting kicked out. Now let's try it with my username. We'll say underscore Rishraf, and then we'll go ahead and press play. Also guys, don't leave comments like, oh, it doesn't work if like you haven't like coded the whole thing um, with the video, because a lot of people just like take it and try to integrate it themselves. And then I keep jumping on accident. But basically, yeah, so. So you can always count on the Roblox Studio crashing on you, especially if you have a PC like mine. Um, I just highly advise that you guys actually just change this to if not. I just feel like it's the exact same thing. It's just sometimes it doesn't like like to read it. Okay, so once you guys go ahead and change that, go ahead and press play. And I still have it as official wrist draft, so hopefully we can go in here. We can sit at the vehicle and we can... We, well, first of all, we can put it in gear and then we'll start rolling. So that's always nice. But anyways, guys... Thank you guys so much for watching. Highly appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Make sure you guys watch the entire video. It really does help out the channel and making my channel like more popular in search engines. So that way I can keep cranking out tutorials for you guys. Uh, whatever you guys you'd like to see, whatever you'd like, whatever you guys would like to see. Ugh. I was thinking about the customization shop with uh, spoilers and stuff like that. I can make that. Uh, I have made a lot of those actually. Uh, with saving and all that stuff, but that's just requires a lot of uh, unique stuff in your game um, Like a lot of data stores and certain ways and there's many many ways to do it So I'm gonna make probably a customization shop with spoilers rims whatever but just non saving So let me know what you guys think of that and yeah feel free to just watch the entire video And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day check out limitless gamer Check out Loaded Fitness. I mean, those are great websites. And follow me on Twitch. Link will be in the description. And comment and leave a like. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Peace. Peace.